the things that happen, especially when we're recovering from toxic relationships, is that it really doesn't make sense, but when I explain it to you, it does. So there's at times to where we might feel binded to another person because of their toxicity and their manipulation. And so for many years, we carry this um, kind of holding on to them subconsciously, and we might not even realize it. So, you know, we have let go in the physical realm. We have really physically, you know, moved on. But the thing is, is that there is still a toxic strain, um, a form of toxic loyalty or some kind of thing that keeps you binded to them. And, you know, you may not even be in love with this person or may not care about them. But that's what happens in toxic relationships is that um, we feel binded to another person and we don't know why we feel binded, but it just, it happens. And it's not even in a love rela relationship. It's in with siblings. It's with people that were, you know, we thought that loved us, that cared about us. Like it's family members that we feel this toxic cord that is still feeding um, on our energy field. And so that's why in a way, and it's usually, it's this, this string of guilt where um, because you're getting into a much better relationship, you might for some odd reason think back to that person and in a way you feel binded to them. It's a very creepy thing, but yeah, it's just because it is a form of a spell. Okay, it is a spell on you. So um, make sure that you are playing the healing session that I posted. It is a toxic loyalty healing session because what it's going to do is it's going to finally sever this cord that you have between this person. Okay, and um, it is going to dissolve it. So imagine the cord leaving you. Okay.